Welcome back to my next playthrough series. This time we're back to Legendary Buffy. Haven't done this one, I think, in about five years. <laughs> so we're doing it again. This time we're playing against the Big Bad and Jealous. And let's take a look at him first and see what's going on. Yeah, he's uh, he's pretty bad. Big Bad. You cannot fight Angelus while you have a wound in your discard pile. Ooh, that's going to hurt. And always leads the Scourge of Europe. That's in our villain deck. Uh, and Dark. Each player gains a wound and places it on top of their deck. And that's the wound or the Darkness and Lightness track here. If the Darkness track gets to the bottom, we're going to trigger that. And a Master Strike. Advance the Dark. Each player discards a Courage or gains a wound. So he's all about the giving you lots of wounds. And of course, to win the game, he has four. We have to defeat him four times. And you need nine attack to take him on. And you can't attack him if you have a wound in your discard pile. So, yeah, could be difficult. All right, the scheme we're playing is the Road to Damnation. And the setup include eight scheme twists. We did that. Include one less villain group. Choose one of the following. So I chose Angel uh, to include those cards in the villain deck. So Angel's in the villain deck. When he comes out, he'll act as a villain, uh, which is a special rules here. When a hero card is drawn from the villain deck, it's considered a villain with attack equal to its uh, purchase cost plus the level of the dark. Ooh, so we're going to watch that. And when you fight a hero, you gain it. So basically, if we defeat a uh, angel card that comes out here, we actually get to keep it. All right, and a scheme twist comes out. All heroes in Sunnydale escape. Play a card from the villain deck. So the heroes, of course, any angel cards out here in the five spaces, escape, and uh, yeah, that's bad news. Uh, and then we play another villain card. And evil wins when five of the chosen hero cards have escaped. So if we get five angel cards escaping, it's game over for our players. Now each player starts with one courage token. So I'm doing a two player game, player one, player two. And in our <clears throat> deck here, we're playing with Oz, Faith, Buffy, Giles, and the First Slayer. And of course here we have, uh, we can purchase uh, potential Slayers uh, for three. And I think that's about it. Uh, and I put these tokens here out on Downtown and Sunnydale High because if you get rid of a villain in either of these spaces, the light goes up one. Cool, so we have our wound deck. We have our bystanders deck, we have our villain deck all shuffled up, we have our hero deck all shuffled up, and we have five hero cards out here at the moment. Uh, we'll take a closer look at these when and if we recruit them. And I've shuffled up our player hands, and it's six cards uh, in each player's hand. And your starting deck is eight basic watcher cards, recruit cards, and four um, uh, attack cards from the initiative. Alright, so... I guess let's just get at it, and uh, first player here, I've already shuffled up, has six cards, and oh yes, the first thing we do on a turn, of course, is a villain card. Comes out, as per any more, a lot of the legendary, so the first villain that comes out is, ooh, old broody pants, Angel himself. So, he's considered two attack, plus one, because the dark is at one. Ooh. Alright, he's already terrorizing Sunnydale, the Hellmouth. All right, first player up, and we have a Watcher, Initiative Soldiers, three of those. So we basically have three Recruit and three Attack. Plus, let's not forget, we do have um, one of our Courage Tokens, which can add either a Recruit or an Attack. So we're sitting here, three Recruit, or four Recruit, if we want to use this, and three Attack. Well, three Attack, we can take out the Angel card, because... He's got one, it's one dark plus two. So I think for a three attack, we're just going to go ahead and wipe out Angel. Uh, this is going to be gain, so it's going to go to our discard pile. Uh, that's actually not a bad card because it gives us two attack when it comes up. That's actually pretty good. And we have three recruit, so we can either get a potential slayer or we can get... Uh, you know what, I think we're going to go ahead and get this first slayer card. This is pretty awesome because it's just draw a card gain a Courage Token. And Courage Tokens don't go away at the end of your turn. You can just accumulate them. So that's pretty cool. So we're going to go ahead and get Spirit Guide for three. That's going to be the end of our first player's turn. Boom! And then they're going to drop six new cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. And so their next hand will be Recruit, Recruit. 
Uh, oh wow, so the next hand is one, two, three, four, five recruit and one attack. All right, over we go to player two. All right, second player has a turn, and yes, indeed. Villain card first, and it's the scheme twist. Oh, for God's sake. All right, so we get a scheme twist already. Um, uh, 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 the scheme. Where's our little twisty schemes? All heroes in Sunnydale escape. There aren't any. We got rid of the one card. Whew. Okay. Um, where are we here? Play a card from the villain deck. So we play a card from the villain deck. Okay. Well, that actually wasn't horrible, but then we got to play a card from the villain deck. So that's not good. All right. And the card from the villain deck is Vampire Initiates. Uh, henchman Villain. Three. Ambush. Capture a bystander. Oh, wow. So boom, they go ahead and they capture a bystander, which is Clem. <laughs> All right. And the bystanders have the little special abilities on them. So we have a vampire initiate coming out here at the Hellmouth, and he's cap captured Clem. Well, that is not very nice now, is it? All right. And that is our second player's <laughs> playing a villain card. It took a long time. And now let's see what they have. They've got one, two, so they've got three, so two attack and four recruit. But they could go ahead and spend their courage token for an extra attack and take out the vampire initiates. And you know what? I think we're going to do that. They're going to go ahead and spend their courage token. So one, that's two, so that gives them three attack. And with three attack, they can take out the vampire initiate. And by doing that, of course, they're going to grab this card for their victory pile, and they also get Clam. They get this right now. Reveal the top two cards of your deck. KO one of them, and discard the other. Uh, okay, so he gets to reveal the top two cards of his deck. Oh, I don't know if that's good. KO one of them, and discard the other. Well, well, I guess they're the same. So we're going to KO an initiative soldiers, and discard an initiative soldiers. Hmm. I don't know if that's a really good thing to do. And I forgot to replace this card, silly me. And it's another Oz uh, Residual uh, Werewolf. Okay, so should have done that right away. Um, and now we have one, two, we have four Recruit. And I do believe the four Recruit, we're going to Recruit the Faith card. Want, take, have. And this is pretty cool. It's two plus. So let's draw a card. You may advance the dark. And if you do, get a plus one attack. So pretty cool Faith card. Boom! Recruiting that. It's the end of player two's turn, and we're going to replace the card with another faith card. You may advance the dark if you do KO a card in your hand, or discard pile. And yes, you can KO, when it says KO a card, you can discard a wound, or KO a wound. So, ooh, but we have to advance the dark. We don't really want to do that. We haven't gotten rid of anything in Sunnydale high yet, so we don't advance towards the light. So one, two, three, four, four recruits. And now we have to shuffle our discard pile and get ourselves another couple of cards. All right, and we get an attack and an attack. All right, so our next hand for player two is going to be four recruit and two attack. All right, I think we can do a couple more turns this episode. Back we go to player one. All right, so far, <laughs> so good. And oh, we get Octaris villain. The Scourge of Europe. Ambush! Each player reveals a, oh damn it, a um, Courage Hero. Uh, advance the dark for each player who could not. And it's five. Ooh! All right. Do we have a Courage Hero? We have an Initiate. So, ooh, so nope. There's no a Courage Hero for player one. Well, player two. We are absolutely hooped. So the dark goes to <laughs> one, two, it's down to three. One more and we're gonna trigger the big bad's dark ability. Oh man, that is absolutely horrific, right? Each player reveals, yeah, a hero. Uh, advance the dark for each player who could not. Wow, and five attack. Oh boy, this is, okay, now things are getting painful. All right, player one again has five recruit and one attack. Five recruit. Um, I think with five recruit we're going to go for Giles here. Reveal the top three cards of your deck. Draw all watchers and potential slayers. Oh, and potential slayers reveal uh, revealed this way. Okay, well this could give us lots of recruit. 
And if you play synergies off the same symbol, you get plus one attack for each gray hero you have played this turn. That could be helpful. <laughs> so we'll take it for five. And then, of course, we reveal the next card. Ah, uh, Prophecy Girl. You may activate dark abilities on cards you play this turn, even while it is light to attack. And synergies draw a card. All right. And I think that's the it. That's the end of our turn. So we have no cards in hand. So we're going to shuffle. And we have to draw up six cards for our next hand, which will be in the next episode. Oh, dear me. This is, things are getting a wee bit ugly. I guess I should put these up here because the cards themselves are going to get in the way there. All right, six new cards. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And let's see what we get for next hand, next episode, which is going to be, uh, well, uh, okay, well, we get this one. So we're going to be two attack, three recruit, and then we get to reveal the top three cards of your deck Draw all watchers, and potentially I'm going to draw all watchers. We might get a lot more recruit. Mm, that's about it. Not much attack, though. All right. Last up for episode today, player two. All righty, player two. Yep, first thing we do is a villain card. Oh, boy, the dark is so close. So, oh, is it going to push? I don't know. What do we got? We got, oh, another angel card. Oh, my lordy. Oh, this is bad. Okay, because the angel cards, so this is going to be four plus three five six seven that's a seven and this is a five wow we got to start getting some attack cards and we got to get them quick i'd love to get this buffy card but i don't think we are able to so we have four recruit and two attack our two attacks going to do absolutely diddly the four recruit oh man maybe we should get one of these oz cards giving us two attack Hmm, yeah, I guess we need attack cards. So we're for four recruit for three recruit. We'll grab an Oz card. Oh, that's just not very good. I don't know. I think we're going to get whooped. And we get another Giles card. Come on, you may KO a watcher in your hand. Uh, you may KO a watcher's in your hand if you do gain a potential slayer and place it in your hand. Okay, well, yeah, all right. All righty, well, that was basically it. So we got one recruit left, two attack. Can't do anything with it. I'm going to discard our hand. I'm going to drop six new cards for our next hand. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So we're going to have watchers, watchers, watchers. Want take. So one, two, three, four. So there we have it. Alrighty. So wrapping up for today, uh, we're playing legendary Buffy, Vampire Slayer, and we're against Angelus. And Road to Damnation is our scheme. And ooh. This is just, the darkness is already <laughs> at three ready to trigger. Not bad. So just a quick recap. So next time we have this in our hand for player one. So we'll be able to grab some more recruit, possibly. And I did it very quickly. <laughs> player two's hand next time. Got faith, a little bit of attack. We have three attack, not anywhere near enough. Uh, so yeah, we're already, I think, in trouble. So thanks so much for watching along. Thanks for your comments, descriptions, likes. It's legendary Buffy the Vampire Slayer. We're playing against Angelus and we're scheme is Road to Damnation. We'll be back tomorrow for the continuation.